back here at home every Saturday we like to bring you some suggestions mm -hmm. for easy day trips, maybe even a mini vacation that's close to St. Louis. And today we head out to a city that really combines charm with well, an easy train ride if you'd like. Yeah, now it is well known for that. Washington, Missouri, due west of St. Louis, off of Interstate 44 or off of a train if you'd rather. I recently paid a visit, learned a lot about, amongst other things, corn cob pipes. Only 50 miles west of St. Louis, on the south bank of the Missouri River, sits the charming town of Washington, Missouri. We are the small town feel, we have that charm, but we also have the big city amenities that everybody looks for. It's an easy and scenic one hour drive from St. Louis, or you can take the Amtrak, which will drop you off right in the heart of it. We call it our downtown district, so we have shops and all kinds of local restaurants. And it's all within walking distance. For a bit of history, our first stop was the Missouri Meerschaum Company. You can't really get a product that's more authentic American or authentic Missouri than a corn cob pipe because this is where, right here, is where the, the whole industry started. Since Mark Twain actually smoked our pipes, this one is called the Mark Twain. Grown in Missouri soil and handcrafted here since 1869, corn cob pipes helped put this town on the map. The founder of our company brought the first electricity to this whole area. We got a sneak peek inside the factory. The cobs come down from upstairs where they've been stored for two years. The cobs get sawed into sections and then shaped into the various pipes that we make, about 25 to 30 different shapes. This is the same thing that we did uh, 150 years ago. We coat them with uh, plaster of Paris and then sand them and put a little bit of lacquer on them. And then they're assembled into a pipe in the finishing room. One of our most popular pipes is this one called the Country Gentleman that has a little bit of black stain added onto the bowl. This is about as as corn cob pipe as you can get. It's basically just a, a, a regular cob, nothing added on the outside. By the 1880s, we were already uh, exporting pipes into Europe and we employed about 150 people. Today, they ship about 3,000 pipes per day all over the world. Now hungry for lunch, we found the Nest Cafe, less than a five minute walk away. We are a lunch cafe, and we really bought this building in order to make this a destination for people who come to Washington. They can shop, they can sit, eat, sip, we do serve alcohol here, and then shop some more. Make sure you say hi to Gracie. She's the door greeter and a very popular one too. You'll find unique home decor, furniture, and accessories at Plush Home and Fashion. A few feet away, you'll find the Nest Cafe. We serve sandwiches, salads, soups, and then we also specialize with our grazing boards, and we call them grazing boards instead of charcuterie boards because we feel like if, if you can't see the board, then you're gonna sit there and graze for a while, so we really fill it up. Here's a finished board. Ooh. We made this our lunch. Yum. Now it's time for dessert. If you're craving something sweet, be sure to check out the Main Street Creamery. You can get a cup, you can get a cone, but this place is famous for its milkshakes. And these aren't your normal milkshakes, all right? You're gonna wanna come here hungry. This is super cool, I can't wait to check it out. They have delicious ice cream, it's just like homemade. We get people from all over the place, Branson, I've seen people, I mean, and they literally, they'll come here and say, we drove here to get one of these milkshakes. You can't go to the grocery store and buy this ice cream. Because this has a much higher butterfat content. That's what makes this ice cream so good. Jolted Cow is one of our most popular. It's an espresso, so it's like a coffee ice cream with brownies and caramel. The kids love our cotton candy ice cream. I got to try Pirate's Bounty. So this is caramel ice cream with M&Ms, Oreos, and chocolate chips mixed in. Mmm. But I'm really here to try one of these famous shakes. What are we gonna make? We're gonna make a cowboy. That's a cowboy. 
I'm gonna need instructions on how to eat this. Thank you. There you go. I'm gonna grab you a spoon. Yeah, I think I might and need an extra. something. Want a bite? Now in a food coma, I need a pick me up. Let's do a mocha latte. Okay. Thank you very much. While they're best known for their espresso, you can also find other options at Underground's Espresso Bar. We do espresso, bourbon, and brunch all day long, where you can get one of our bourbons if you want. You can sit in the window, you can watch the river go by. So what makes their espresso so good? We visited every shop from Herman to Cherokee Street, trying every coffee in the city. And we finally pared it down. We used Dubuque coffee out of St. Louis. It's always the same. If you're looking to spend some time in the great outdoors, there's a great trail nearby. You can bike across the bridge and in just a few short minutes, you get to the Katy Trail. They can bring their bike on Amtrak. For a unique experience, be sure to check out the Iron Spike Model Train Museum. The only one of its kind in the Midwest. I wanted to give something back and it was a dream I had. When you have a large model train collection, you have to put it somewhere. So I decided to build a museum. And over the years, there have been many donations. This 17,000 square foot space is packed with train fun. We have seniors bringing their grandchildren, the grandparents are showing the, the, the little ones and the grandchildren what they had years ago. So what do the kids think when they see all this? We have them jump up and down so high, we have to knock them off the ceiling. <laughs> That's the truth. Nothing here is behind glass, so you can get up close to admire all the handiwork. Tell me why this is your favorite. Because it's an aerial view of my great-grandparents' homestead. You hand-painted all of this, right? This is right? all hand-painted, right down to the chickens in the chicken coop. They were put in with gummy bears, okay? <laughs> From 1926, this is their oldest running train. This world-class exhibit is well-known amongst the model railroading crowd, and people come from all over to see it. We've had people from 50 states and 21 countries, and some of the countries we've had, okay, have been back here twice. Whether you want to spend a day, a weekend, a week, you will always find something to do here, so make sure you get the time to explore. Now, Paige, you went to school in that area, so I have to ask, did yes. you learn anything new? Yeah, Washington is near and dear to my heart, one of my favorite places, but you just blew my mind. For as long as I've known about the corn cob pipe factory, I've never seen inside, so Pretty cool. that was neat. Yep. And now that train museum. You've got to take Bodie. Just moved to the top of the list yeah. for family field There's trip. actually some interaction there, too. There's some buttons, and you can press, like there's a Ferris wheel, and you can make it go that around. So I'm telling cool. you, super fun. Fantastic story, Kristen. Very good. Well, don't.